So what's behind me is a coastal salt marsh. It's an estuary. Estuary meaning where the river meets the sea. Um, the tides come and go as they do in the ocean. They come and go in the salt marsh as well. So Mexico is about two, about two miles directly behind me. Uh, a mile from here is the, is the mouth of the Tijuana River, so that's where the ocean comes in and fills up this place, up the estuary. It's all open to the public. Uh, Trail-wise are open to the public. And so we have somewhere around 42 miles of trails in the river valley. Here alone near the visitor center where we are right now is maybe around four or five miles you can readily access. But we have ocean frontage, two miles of beach that you can walk on. ride bicycles, you can walk your dog on a leash. We, this is one of the last areas in Southern California that you can actually ride a horse on the beach from the river mouth south down to the Mexico border. So it's a pretty unique area. The primary reason why this place exists is for an endangered species called the uh, light-footed ridgeways rail, uh, formerly called the light-footed clapper rail. And this is, a, this is home to that species, very rare, it's a federally endangered species. Oh, we were just hearing the, the light-footed ridge rays rail. It's an endangered species. It's the whole reason why this place was preserved in the first place. Matias Finger, who, who is a, was a philosopher that said, people have to experience things in order to make decisions about it. They have to have a one-on-one -on -one experience. And if they don't have that one-on-one -on -one experience, then they're not gonna affect change. They're not gonna make decisions and behavior change. And so when people experience something, and if they go on some of our docent-led walks or our school programs, that's when they find out the value of this place. Having a coast trail designated that runs through or adjacent to this, this beautiful area is, is wonderful. It's exactly what we want. Where we are right now is the, the coastal trail hasn't been designated yet. It, but um, once it gets designated, then people are going to be coming here from all different areas. So once people come here, they're going to be able to appreciate what a wonderful area it is. It's also really great for their mental state and for just their physical fitness and everything. And I think that they'll really be able to appreciate coastal wetlands a lot more once they come here. Mm -hmm.